Onu, and welcome to another episode of Zawana Arewage. We'll be bringing you up to date on all that's happening in and around our community. Well, it seems like fall is finally here. I know you ladies are uh, in total agreement with this because <laughs> we're all wearing kind of like fall clothes right yeah. now. So. <laughs> That's how I know it's fall because yeah. of the, the You know clothing. it's fall when you pull up the socks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, we're already saying goodbye to summer once again, though. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. know. I felt like we didn't have a summer. Yeah. I don't know if like a lot of people are going to feel that way this mm -hmm. year, but I felt totally gypped. Totally. Yeah, totally. I used my swimming pool, I think, twice. Mm -hmm. so it was so cold. Yeah. I never got to really use it. Well, I spent a lot of time on the water being, uh, you know, a paddler. And uh, it was not a pleasant summer, I tell mm -hmm. you. I look forward to those summers, summer evenings where it's like hot and the water is like crystal and you just, you know, practice for, for yeah. a long time and it's just gorgeous out and then you jump and go swimming. That only happened a couple of times this year and that wasn't yeah. enough, definitely wasn't enough. Yeah. So. I was at the quarry twice this year and that's it. It was nice, it was cool on those mm -hmm. maybe three hot days uh, I think that we had. Actually in July. Three, three, three hot, hot days. Three yes, hot days. exactly. Like three hot days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like um, they said that we had uh, 20, 26, 28 days of rain. Mm -hmm. it's like it a, rained so much. Mm -hmm. I weeded my garden almost every three or four days. The spiders were insane, insane, the insects mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. And then finally, the other one thing that I want to complain about was I find summer is the most expensive, expensive transitional season, right? So you're going from like uh, winter, spring, summer, and you spend so much money either on your gardens, your flowers, your barbecue, your propane, your pool, your this, your that, you know, you're booking your summer vacations. And then it was just like such a dud, mm -hmm. yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. so. No, I, I, I agree. I, I took a, uh, some, my vacation. I saved up a lot of it this year and I took it during the summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, it wasn't worth it, I'll tell you that much. It wasn't <laughs> worth it. Really. I bet you a lot of people are going to be spending money this year on going away to like Florida. Or a tropical a destination, tropical yes. Destination. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, That's like, what I'm going to do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, July. Like, and I will. I, I think, yeah, <laughs> it was, uh, July was uh, 26 days of rain. It's kind of like a Bon Jovi song. And, you know, it's like a 26 days of rain. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, can you sing it first? Yeah, well, you know, I, you know I would. Yeah, okay. Anyway. All, right. All right. Well, speaking of the end of summer, Ganawaga Girls Soccer ended on a high note. One gold and three silver. Regan, can you uh, give us some details? Yep, sure I can. But before I do, in studio with us today, joining us is Shelly Jacobs, the assistant coach for the U12 Girls Soccer Team. Welcome, Shelly. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> so, how does it feel to be the gold medal winners? I can't describe the feeling. It's it's a mixture of elation, um, joy, and actually saying, oh yes, we finally did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I seen a photo, I don't know of who it was, but on, on uh, Facebook, uh, of the, the winning goal. It was kicked by... Wasindio Kirby. Wasindio, okay. And then it was like, a, wasn't it really close right until the end? It was so okay. close. I mean... In the first half, it, it could have gone either way. Both teams were playing excellent, excellent defense by both teams. Um, just they were getting a lot more shots than us. We were kind of getting a little bit scared at that point. Mm -hmm. Then came our break time, gave them a little pep talk, gave them a little fruit, gave them a little energy, put a little sugar into them, and did, the, did our cheer. They wanted it. They went for it. Mercy had nothing left. Like they were. They gave it all in the first yeah, half. Yeah, they gave it all in the first half. We, we dominated the second half. There were so many shots on goal. I think I even almost fainted at one point because my heart couldn't take it anymore because <laughs> they were so close. Either the goalie caught it or the one that I fell on the ground. I literally fell on the ground because I just couldn't believe it didn't go in. Um, one of our players, I don't remember who, sorry, <laughs> uh, kicked the ball. I think it was Paxton Phillips. She kicked the ball. It went high up, just skimmed the, the goalie's fingers. I said, that's going in. I was sitting there going, go in, go in. It sailed over the top ah, of the bar. Yeah. That's when I just fell and I said, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> so what was your, what was your um, at halftime, what was the score at that point? Zero, zero. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like I wow. said, it could have been anyone's game at that point. So all the way to the end, was there any goal scored in the second or was it still 0-0 zero, zero all the way to the it end? It was 0-0 zero, zero oh, okay. all the way to the end. The last two minutes, like 
like I said, we dominated in the second half, and they had they were just working and working shot after shot. It was just either getting blocked or missing the net completely. Okay. So that's why it was just we were, Martin and I are sitting there like you know hanging onto the bench like so please. So what the must feel like? You know, yeah, she, she got. Must, she must have been on cloud nine. Oh yes, Paxton set her up. She took and with her left foot of all things nailed it. It went right into the top corner. And her face, I love her face when she scores a goal. <laughs> it's the most beautiful smile you'll ever see on a child. She was just like, ah, and then we all just jumped for joy. And then we asked the ref, how, many, how much time do we have left? He says, two minutes. Wow. So we're like, play defense, because they, were, they, they came were on strong. They mm -hmm. came, and then when that whistle blew, yeehaw. These <laughs> <laughs> uh, so were the, the winners of that category yeah. of the U12. Yeah, we went undefeated all season. Mm -hmm. We started out the season playing Mercier of all people and we we beat them 2 to 1. Mm -hmm. And then throughout the season we we played a mixture of teams. We played U12 teams along with U11 teams. And of course the U11 teams we beat them either between 5 and 7 nothing. Mm -hmm. And but it was just an experience for them and then as the season progressed, you know, we were good at the beginning and then everybody caught up to us by midpoint. And then at the midpoint of the season, we played our arch rivals, Valley Field, who mm -hmm. we lost to in a shootout in the gold medal match last year. Oh, we lost okay. by, we lost by two penalty shots. You know, after playing mm -hmm. the most oh, and those amazing are always game. the hardest. Yes, the they the are. The shootouts are. are yeah, the shootouts are the worst because it's just a matter of who's going to miss yeah. or what, what is the goal we're going to catch. And you can have catch. the best player, and on that one day, doesn't necessarily mean that they're no. going to kick the best. No. So it's, no. it's, it's really not David Beckham a is, skill. Uh, uh, is a perfect example of that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. England's okay. best player and misses the net. Well, congratulations <laughs> to you guys for a wonderful season. Is there anything Thank else you'd, you'd like to add? Um, I just want to say how proud I am of our girls. Martin and I really worked hard with them all year. The, there were some ups and downs, but overall, we'd like to say that girls were very, very, very proud of you because you worked hard, you listened to us in the final game, and you really wanted it. So you went out and got it, and there you go. You have your championship banner and you have your gold medal that you deserved after being runner-up. Show us the gold medal. <laughs> they got a gold after two silvers. Yeah. Two silvers every year. You know, it was yeah. it was nice to see that. Okay. Well, I'm very amazed. Uh, you know, we hear about uh, the girls' soccer in, in different uh, categories, and you know they play so well. Uh, prime example, winning gold, and to think that um, soccer in Gunawake has only been here since 2002. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just, yeah exactly. Yeah. And when it started, it was it was uh, it was a lot smaller. <laughs> mm -hmm. But. Yeah. Um, we also did uh, have a chance to get some interviews with uh, some of the other teams that also were went uh, right to the end this year. We had uh, three silver medal uh, placings, and uh, we're going to go to Angie Marquis' uh, U10 girls team. Take a look. 